All right, hey everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome to Monolith Relics of the Past. As part of the indie game Lightning Round, this is a DLC that came out a couple months ago, but I just couldn't fit it on my schedule at the time. And I was like, I really want to, I really want to play this. I just win. I don't know. Anyway, uh, so we're just going to dive in right now, do a couple of runs, and if I want to do more, awesome, we'll just keep going. And if not, then we'll move on. That's how this works. Uh, let's see. Okay, this should be interesting. So I have played a little bit of this game. I haven't played in a while. I don't remember any of this. Uh, we can talk to them. He's asleep. What's the cat say? Advice, gossip, or shop? I don't think I have any... Oh, I do. Never mind. I have resources, but everything is very expensive. Yeah, 30,000 gold. 80,000 gold. Yeah, let's just... Let's just not... So, for those of you that don't know, uh, Monolith is a old school, eh, it, old school? I don't know. It's, it feels very old school. But it's, it's like, uh, I mean, it's a fairly decent roguelike. Uh, nope. There's a dash. Okay. Gotta remember that. There's a bomb. That's the bomb. Okay. What is that? Inactive machine. Oh, I destroyed these. Okay, activate? Yes. Oh! Okay, Microcore. Hi! I was not expecting... I was not expecting this, and nor am I clear on how to dodge. I think I might honestly have to use my, uh, my controller for this. I've been trying to use keyboard controls, and it's not... It's a bit of a mistake. Because I'm, I'm good at aiming with the mouse, obviously, but I'm not great at the whole... Dah! How much HP do I even have left? Not much. Ah! Okay, I got it. Barely. Well, we get health. I'm going to grab my controller. See if I can... But no. No. Oh, weird. Oh. Why is it Why is it only accepting inputs from uh okay, that's weird. I'm going to have to try that on the next run. No controller it is. Okay, well I got some upgrades. One of those was health related, but that's about all I know. Oh, these shoot. I am very luckily, lucky none of those hit me. That would have been bad. Everything about that would have been bad. Everything about this is bad. Okay. Gotta get rid of Ice Priest. He seems like he's a danger. Now this is... That's the boss door. We don't want anything to do with that. Okay. Keep our distance. Right, I forgot, there is a dash. How many bombs do I even have left? Okay, I have an amount of bombs left. Okay, gotta remember I've got a dash. Toss the bomb. Keep dodging. Keep just putting distance between myself and Skelemans. And my my biggest problem with games like this is I am absolutely... I'm an absolute trash fire when it comes to uh, dodging and avoiding bullets. I just... It works in some games, but most not. But I need the practice today. Uh, I've got a game called Ida coming out fairly soon. And I'm really looking forward to that. Uh, let's see. Purchasers are cheaper. Collecting scrap increases speed and damage. Powerful selection of weapons. I'm going to go for the purchases are cheaper, which is probably a stupid idea, but whatever. Okay. Uh, but yeah, Ida's coming out in a couple of days, and I'm really looking forward to the game, but it is, like, a proper, full-on and proper, uh, I don't- Oh! Those hurt me. Okay. I wasn't sure what that was, if it was a pickup or what. And the answer is, uh, scary. That's what it was. No ammo. 
unlock. I don't know what that... I don't even... I don't know. I am confused. Okay, so we get... That's a health. Okay, that, that just heals. Anything else? The answer is no. I gotta remember to use the dodge more. I don't actually know if I become invulnerable. Well, I have it. Okay, reveals the entire floor. Damage increase or detonator revolver. Remote trigger. Final shot activates bombs. Sticky bombs. Fires explosive bombs. Cost 40,000 gold and I have considerably less than that. Oh, no. 4,000 gold, not 40,000. Okay, that's a little bit... That's a little bit more doable. And considerably less risky. I don't know what I just picked up. Alright, so we've got lasers. I don't know. Okay. Have I been in here? No. Got that. I think everything else is good. I've only got 3 HP, which is spooky. But that's... That's just kind of how these things work. Okay, so I've got a... Nimbus has been broken. I heal up a little bit. I'm back at 4 HP. Can I warp? There we go. I can warp. That's really helpful. So, I've got like a homing laser situation going on here. Do I go for this? How much money do I have? I actually almost have 4,000. So let's fight this... the grinder. Homing lasers make this a lot easier. As I pretty much can just ignore where the boss is at all times. Okay. Uh, let's see. So we get a damage up. Oh, I probably should have... Well, play? I think I should have waited on that one. Or not. I don't know. I don't know what's happening. We'll find out. Yeah, so I shouldn't have done that. Or maybe I should have? This is new. Well, let's go down for... Bright light beyond this door. New weapon past this door. Rushing water. Or grinding stone. Bright light! Okay. Ow. I am a bit shocked that I didn't get absolutely beasted, but it's life. Nothing unusual past this door. New weapon past this door. Alright, we get a little bit of HP. I'm I'm definitely digging this this version of Monolith now. I do wish there was a uh, a variant on this game. Ow. Okay, so dashing does not make me invincible. That had, like, slightly less bullets. Just slightly less. Oh, railgun. Homing, phasing, wraps through boundaries, reduced ammo, or lunge... Oh, it's a sword. I don't know what I currently have, but this sounds more fun. Old gun salvage gets me a little bit of HP. Ominous chanting. I like ominous chanting. That sounds like a mistake. Wait, I got hit? Oh, bones. Beware bones. But yeah, I'm I'm digging the weapon wrap here. That's that's cool. Uh, what is this? Oh, this is this is a boss and or mid boss. Uh oh.
One HP left. Okay, I got him. Alright. Above 2.5 multiplier, ammo usage is halved. That is... Virtually nothing of any use to me. Can I warp back here? Use? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Oh, a visitor. How very interesting. It shouldn't have, it shouldn't have been possible to reach this place. And you've come so far to get here. I do not know how it is you got here. But you've already caused intensive damage already. I really wish we could have met under better circumstances. Oh, no. I think it's time you left. <laughs> oh, boy. So would that make this a bullet heck game instead of a bullet hell? M maybe. Okay. Um. Whoo boy, this game's hard. Alright, I got 20,000 gold. That's not much. What do you have? Ghostly squeal. That's... advice. Huh. That guy you're describing, I think I've seen pictures of him around here. Must be some kind of bigwig. Doesn't really bode well for fighting him. Gossip? Archives seems like they're once stocked with important goods. Shame most of it got junked with the ages. Well, at least there's always the Debris. And shop. We already bought, like, a number of these things. Two keywords and a bomb. Consecrated weapons. I think I gotta save up for this one. Because, yeah, I don't think... I don't think I can buy a single thing here. Yep, everything is too expensive for my poor butt. When you said you wanted full, fewer bullets. I don't know. I just... I suck. Alright? I... I can... I can absolutely be like, Man, I wish there was a... Uh, there was an easy mode for, for schmucks like me. I know there's such a thing as getting good, but I want to get fun, or I want to have fun. I guess this, that's really where I'm at, is that, like, it's tough sometimes for me to get good when I just kind of want to screw around for a while and enjoy myself thoroughly. Alright, well, we'll figure it out. So, revive on death, extra damage explosively, things are cheaper, extra max bomb. Let's go with purchasers. Purchases are cheaper. I love bullet hells when you're a kid. Shame you're bad at them. I was big on. Oh, what was it? What was the one that I really loved? I mean, it, it wasn't really much of a bullet hell, but I was a huge Galaga fan. My. The local. Uh, the local pediatrician's office when I was a kid. Let's see, find a new weapon at the start of each floor, recovers 2 HP, 10% damage increase. I don't have that much money, so we'll just leave it for now. Uh, let's see. Anyway, uh, when I was a kid, the local pediatrician's office had an arcade table. Firebomb or excavation bomb. Let's, uh, let's wait for the other one. Okay, there is contact damage. I just have to be careful. So I can shoot through portals. Good to know. Okay. Stay away from that. He got shooty in a hurry. And he's dead. Seal's been broken. Recovers ammo. Recovers 1 HP. Let's go for the HP. Uh, but yeah, Galaga, not exactly much of a bullet hell, to be honest. But I absolutely adored the game. And played the heck out of it. And I guess that was more of a shmup-ish. Wait, because I left, I just didn't get it? Ah, that sucks. Whatever. Now I know. Power-ups like that do not last.
Okay. Anyway, uh, but yeah, I really enjoyed playing that game when I was a kid. I uh, played the heck out of it whenever I had a doctor's appointment. And then, like, as I got older, I tried, like, playing Ikaruga and a couple other ones, and it was just brutal. And I, I think some part of me always weeps for that a little bit, because, like, you know, just a little bit easier, and I'd be able to play, like, all of them. But instead, there's, like, I don't know. It's just a difficulty wall that I don't think I'll ever be able to surmount without spending a lot of time and effort. Oh, max HP part. I'll take it. Uh, let's see. So what do you got for me? Charge. Surge. Arcs enemies when fully charged. Shotgun style shoots bullet, uh, pellets. Or fires in threes but fires slower. I like this. I like the weapon system in this game. Like, that part's really cool. It's gonna be a bit of an ammo hog. That is a concern. Not a huge one, but it's a concern. Probably would have liked the other one. A minor valuable. Oh, I see. It's just worth cashola. Alright, so we want to go back here. I have a decent amount of money. Find a new gun, or go for a damage increase. Because I can't quite get both. And that just recovers some HP. The new gun could be interesting. The 10% damage. Let's go for the new gun. Let's play around. All right, and it's this guy again. Well, at least we just wiped him out real fast. Uh, let's go for the damage increase. Okay, and this time around, we don't have that weird arcade thing that pops up. So, if I wanted to, I could go looking around. We could actually go back down here and buy the upgrade. I don't think we need the health. And we got a secret room. Increase the max ammo. Hell yeah. I don't know if there's more than one secret room uh, per floor, so I'm just going to operate under the assumption that probably not. Triple fires and threes, chain lightning, arcs between... Yeah, I'll go with that. That sounds fun. And he killed himself on the uh, moving blocks. Hell yeah. Okay. This is going a little bit better. Let's go for the exclamation mark. Whatever this is. Okay. Split chain lightning burst. Adds two bombs. Shattering bomb destroys all blocks. I'll think about those. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, I can break those. Okay, that was a bit spooky. I was not quite prepared for what the heck that room was throwing my way. I'm not big on the triple shot weapons, to be honest. Woo. Hi. This guy's a bit more aggressive than I was expecting. Oh, because he was a mid-boss. Uh, let's see. How's my ammo doing? My ammo's doing great, so let's go for the HP. No, these guys are just, like, desperado robots. Alright. Life is surprisingly good. Grab that. Triple laser fires continuously. Let's go with the ricochet rail gun. That sounds fun. Ow. I deserve that. Uh, let's see. 
drop a bomb, get a secret room. Secret room has increased max HP by one. I'll take that gladly. Alright, I do a shit ton of damage. That's a good sign. There we go. I like the ricochet. I kind of wish it would ricochet more. There we go. Okay, bit too much. Gain a shield. I will take a shield as I'm a little hurt. Okay, recover 2 HP. Do I have to worry about the fire? I don't. Okay, that's a good sign. That works out. Okay. Bandage recover HP when starting a new floor, or you can go into debt while shopping. Go for the recover HP. Per floor. Hey, we get an upgrade. Upgrade has... They get damage while on more than two bombs. Extra damage improves default weapon. Hmm. I'm curious about... Oh, auto-bomb. So if I have more than two bombs, it'll take the bomb instead. Uh, I don't have a whole lot of bombs, so I'm going to just go with the damage up. Well, my shield lasted for all of minute. And now it's confusing. Two HP parts. Hey! I will dig. Alright. Nope. Can't shoot that. Gotta shoot the ghost ghosty bits. Damn it. Unfortunately, my ability to aim is hampered drastically by my inability to be good. Uh, let's see. Do I want to pick up some bombs? I'll pick up. I'll pick up some bombs while I'm here. I have too many, but that's okay. All right, presence. My ammo is kind of bad. We'll find out. Oh, I I can shoot it. Whoop. Whoops. Oh, I'm trying so hard to not take damage here. It's so easy to take lots. Got it. Whoo, that hurts. 5% damage H- No, we want to go for the HP. I know we heal when we start a floor, but I don't know how much we heal. I heal by one. Revolver phasing triple. Fires in threes. Yeah, let's grab it. Mainly because we're almost at ammo on the other one. And as much as I liked the, uh... Go with that. Got a bit of a long cooldown, but it seems to do a decent amount of damage. Whoa! Hi, fish! I think that one jumped for me. Okay, we don't want to... We don't want to do that. Shop items have a chance to restock or access forgotten places. Go with that. That sounds interesting. Giant extra...
10,000 gold for a giant holy homing sword. I think I want it. I think I want it. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's like super helpful. Okay, Icicle Priests are quite dead. Uh, recovers 3 HP. Damage some HP parts. HP parts are good. Mid boss. Okay, uh... Let's recover the HP. My ammo's kind of good, especially if I'm going to be switching weapons shortly. I understand how this room works. Okay, grab that, get a minor valuable, make sure we get the treasure. We get another two HP. Which I guess is any spillover HP is a is an HP part. Good to know. All right. Uh, let's see. Bad space to be. And the waterfalls are spooky. But that's okay. And we get upgrades. Okay, better, more frequent item drops. Immunity to lightning, frost, and hazards. Enemies take longer to activate. Oh, okay. <sighs> Weatherproof is real good. I like the middle one. Let's go for the middle one. Don't bomb on map that loots your current weapon. Does it? I'm curious... Okay, that doesn't look like a secret door. Okay. There we go. Nope, no secret there. Okay, and we're out of, we're out of weaponry. Which is kind of spooky. Luckily, we've upgraded my basic weapon, so it's not so bad. Oh! I didn't notice that one guy was chucking rocks at me. Okay. Mystery box, no ammo. Could be anything. So that costs ammo to open up. Unfortunately, I don't think I'm gonna... Well, let's see if I can come back and get it. So, we wanted to try the Excalibur sword. Okay, that should be kind of fun. Go back over here. So, I'm not terribly injured. I've got just enough for that. Increases multiplier gain. Okay, sure. I'll roll with that. Might put put me into a bit of a tricky spot boss wise. No, that's not it. Hmm. Well 
There we go. Increases max ammo by 20%. I will take it. I don't know if there's extra secrets that I should be aware of. Well, I'm definitely digging the shit out of this sword. That works. Nope. It works kind of. It works great. Alright, damage upgrade recovers 2 HP. Hmm. Let's go for the damage upgrade. Because I'm going to heal. Yeah, sword chucks bullets away. I believe all melee weapons block, uh, block things. So I'm gonna not go for the, not go for that, if I can avoid it. So it looks like Excalibur leaves little bits that shoot things, which is really helpful. For absolutely. Beasting everything. I just have to be very careful because I need, I need a all the ammunition I can I can get on this sword. Thank you, little murder bits. Okay. Let's see. So you're thinking of getting this game? Should you get the DLC? I have no idea what the DLC added, but it feels like the game's a little bit more interesting to me now, so probably? I don't know. I I would say pick up the base game first, and then, then make your decision, because it's a really hard game. Okay. Yeah, it's a pretty tough game, and if you're not up for that, not used to that, I can see that being... Damn it. There we go. I can see that being tough for, like, a newcomer. Uh, let's keep going for the ammo. This sword is too good to want, want to pass up. I'm gonna have to accept its loss at some point. But if we're lucky, I can just keep it. Oh. Add a bomb. Okay, we got a shop. A extra HP parts, increase the max HP by one. Let's uh let's just become tougher. And richer. It's a pretty good multiplier for picking up cash. You know this game reminds me of Scourgebringer. I rather enjoyed that game. It was also freaking hard, though I think it was less hard than this. Whoa. Okay, ghost in a box. Not friendly. Ah, damn it. Walked right into that one. I'm really trying to conserve ammo. I don't want to use it too much. Okay. So, we got a regular sword, overheat and reflective, and a railgun. <sighs> Maybe I should go for the sword. I'm liking my Excalibur, but we're almost out of juice. Okay, smaller, but I've got bullet reflection, which... Probably useful. It also leaves it behind a damage over time effect. Okay. 
So this sword doesn't quite have the bullet blocking capabilities that the previous sword did. But it's it's good enough, at least for now. Teleport when dashing, enemies take longer to activate. Extra health and debris. Mm. Let's go with blink. Okay, increase my ammo max. We get a secret. Medkit contains medical supplies. I'm not... I'm not super keen on that. Like, it seems like it's okay. Okay. Should be good. I'm liking the damage over time effect on on this. Leaving those little spots behind is pretty choice, actually. Okay, wipe him out. We've got tons of cash. Okay, there we go. And plenty of ability to just kind of deal with some of these things. How much do I hate myself? I do. Mainly because I can just sit on his face and reflect most of these shots back at him and set him on fire. Ow. I deserve that. Hell yeah, sword. You might want to visit a shop, though, after this. Oh, I can't destroy his little doodads. All right. We're good, we lost a lot of ammo for that, but we get new keyword for your weapon, recover ammo, max HP by one, free money, ammo like crazy. Okay. Increase attack speed, slows enemies on hit, fires in threes, fires slower. Let's go quick. Increasing attack speed on, on this thing sounds pretty dang good. All right, and now that I've got some ammo back, Increase my max HP by one. Then let's go shopping. He's got that. Is there no other shops? Really? Hmm. Yeah, I don't see any other shops. Unless I missed a room somewhere, but I'm not seeing it, so... Alright, boss time. Also, thank you Tyrus Kurt for the raid, and welcome! We were playing Monolith. Uh, Relics of the Past specifically, it's the, uh, it's the new update. It is pretty dang good. It's very hard roguelike, but it's still super fun. Alright. Let's get her to- get her done. The Ordinator. Hello, Ordinator. Okay. So I think I'm just gonna hang out here and use the sword to just kind of clear paths. And focus on dodging. I've got the fire shot to kind of wreck things for me. Okay. So we have to hit him through these things instead of... Got him. Unless there's a round two. Nope, no round two. Damage increase. Let's go for the HP at this point. We're probably getting kind of late in the run and I'm going to need some health. Let's see. This does seem very fun. How much is it? I think the base game is 10 bucks, and there's a DLC. 
there's a DLC for seven, both of which are pretty dang good. Okay, that's some ammo. 50% of max ammo. Hell yeah, sword. There we go. Multiplier's not doing great. But this shouldn't surprise too much. Alright, stay away from him so he doesn't blow up on me. Uh, my ammo's doing okay. Go for those guys. And this this sword is really kicking ass. I almost wonder if if that's truly the the secret to me doing not terribly at this game. Because I remember the first time I ever played this, I just got my butt kicked so much that I eventually kind of just lost steam. And I think the real answer is just you got to get the good the good shit to do well. What is this? I don't know. I don't. I don't know, and therefore I don't trust it. Okay, there we go. If I don't know what it is, I don't like it. Uh, let's see. Love how this game is less than 30 megabytes. I mean, it's it's old school looking. So you don't have to worry about wasting a whole lot of space on... Ooh. What's up my max HP? Let's be beef. Probably could have waited on that one, but... I had no way of knowing it was going to be that. Got him. Alright, uh, at this point we need ammo. We're starting to run a bit dry. There we go. Get down here. How do you like fire? And a we. Life is good. Pop a bomb. Figured as much. And we've got charge wider spray. Gosh, it would be a really good weapon. Main problem is I wouldn't be able to rely on the, the sword and cheese. And that sword cheese is so good. If I don't have any other choices and I'm running low on ammo before we leave, I'll go for it. Just having having a melee weapon in general uh, really does seem to make this a lot more doable. Free money, that's a lot of money. What is this? What are you? Sup? Yeah. Sure. Grab those. I mean... I can afford everything. Okay, cloak. No contact damage. Woo! That's pretty good. Okay. Life is... So far, so not terrible. 50 ammo for a mystery box. Could be anything. No ammo. Hmm. Ow. Well, I got an okay amount of HP. Firebomb to get that. Sure. We got 25 shots left, which is a bit spooky. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to safeguard this weapon. Okay. We've got a charge. Charges faster, wider spray. 
or disrupting phasing laser. Let's go for the laser. I like rap. I hate to lose my previous gun. Where did I start, by the way? I started here? Oh. So the gun, the gun that I started with is gone. Yeah, getting continuous on this might have been a good idea, but... No dice. Ah. Uh... That's okay. We get choose a new keyword for your weapon, recover ammo. Can I come back? So those enemies radiates bullets, fires continuously. Okay, now to check. Yeah, so the weapon that was here is gone. So only if it's a uh consume ammo situation can I actually keep it. Good to know. Guess I should not be as spend spendthrift as I am. I am very glad for the removal of contact damage, as that saved my butt from a lot of ouch. Okay, recover some ammo. It doesn't look like we got a shop coming up, so yeah. And there's the arcade. I don't know how the arcade works. I still don't know how the arcade works. So this is going to be not great. We don't have nearly as good of a gun and we're going into... Oh, this is the last boss. I might not talk much during this. Very glad I improved my basic gun. <sighs> Did I get him? Well, whatever this is, I'm gonna grab that. And let's recover some HP. Now what? I beat the game! That's actually not bad. I think that's the first time I've ever beaten N Monolith. On my what? Second run of the DLC? So I unlocked the Razor, Thunderhead, Expensive Seal. And how much cash have I stayed up, uh, saved up? All right, we're gonna play a couple, uh, couple more rounds of this. That actually wasn't so bad. It's probably gonna get worse. I have a lot of money though, at the very least. Uh, let's see, Seal seems important, so that'll be 100,000. Nope, screw you, dude. I want to grab, uh, the more, the weapon, 
the more weapon modifiers I can grab. There's also the razor. I don't really care too much about the bombs. Everything is so expensive. So let's pick up consecrated weapons and anti-magic weapons, maybe? There's also the care package. I have no idea how that works. Otherwise, I could get the razor. The razor is a unique weapon. What do we think? More keywords, more weapons. Heavy Area Denial Weapon, 130G. Why is everything so expensive? Uh, let's, let's go with these. Two new keywords sounds like a good idea. Everything else I think is going to be too pricey for me. And then after this, I'll save up for the two new weapons. Well, okay, we're probably going to get Akashic, then Razor, then Thunderhead. Maybe. I don't know. Oh, Razor is probably your best buy. Well, we'll save up for it for the, for the next round. I've still got 20,000 sitting around, so it's still going to take a while. <laughs>